Hi everyone, my name is Evan Coons and I am the pastor of Family Ministries at the Tiger Campus. I'm so excited to be joining this amazing team and getting connected with the Tiger community. I want to spend these next couple of minutes digging into a passage from scripture that has really been on my heart over the past few months. The passage is from Psalms chapter 51. Psalms 51 is King David in response to the sin he has committed. He has just messed up big time and he cries out to God. In verse 5 he says, Against you, you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. See, King David recognized the sin that crept into his life. He saw his own brokenness firsthand and was experiencing the results of his wrongdoing. He understood that his sin was a direct offense towards God. This very thing is something that I have been challenged by recently. It has challenged me as I have considered how I respond to the sin in my life. How do I treat sin and how, how do I understand the full weight of its offense? So often I find myself shoving off my sin tendencies. I try to bury my sin like it never occurred or, or I pretend like it isn't always a big deal. But I can't escape the truth that the sin in my life is offensive, that it must be recognized and confronted. It's important to note here that in response, David seeks restoration. He doesn't run, he doesn't hide but he turns to God and asks personally to be restored. We see this beautifully expressed in his words in verses 10 through 12 as he writes, Restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. Do not cast me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. What awesome words are these? See, David is feeling the weight and burden of all his sin. It's staring at him in the eyes and he has no way of hiding it. And all that is left for him to do is turn to God, to give this intense burden to him who is strong enough to lift it. And so David cries out, restore to me the joy of your salvation. What an incomparable feeling it is to be saved from something. To be rescued is to be cared for. We can constantly and consistently find joy and satisfaction in the salvation freely given to us in Christ. And so I want to encourage you with this very prayer of King David in the response of his brokenness when we feel tired and broken, like our sin is staring us in the face. Turn to the truth of Christ. Seek restoration that is found in Him. Just as God pursues you in the midst of your sin, pursue after the joy rooted in our salvation as you are restored in relationship with our loving Creator.